If you want to get started into hacking, or I should say ethical hacking, you only need one single thing. And this is the same thing used across different hackers, and that is the right operating system. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download and install Parrot OS. That's the operating system used by hackers. It is a Linux distribution that comes with hacking tools already pre-built in. Although you can add other tools as well, but you can get started easily with this tool. Now, I'm going to show you how to download and install the two versions available. So one of them will be a virtual machine. This virtual machine already has the operating system installed. So all we have to do is to import into VirtualBox and then we're going to create a new virtual machine and we're going to install the Parrot OS from scratch. Let's get started. Okay, so first thing we're going to download VirtualBox. That's going to be the hypervisor. So we're going to VirtualBox and we're going to download the latest version. That's going to be uh, 7. Next, we're going to download Parrot OS. So Parrot OS. So that's Parrot OS security. And we're going to select download and we're going to download the live image and the virtual one. So the live, it means we're going to install from scratch. That's going to be an ISO file and the virtual will be the virtual image that we're going to use to import into VirtualBox. So we're going to download both softwares. Now, uh, we're going to select the security version. Just click on security and only have one option, AMD 64. Okay, so I'm going to download this version. So if we scroll here, we only have the ISO file. So we're going to download this file. Okay, now let's select the virtual image and now we're going to select the virtual. And again, the flavor will be security and we're going to select AMD64, okay? Not ARM, AMD64. And we're going to select download for VirtualBox. Okay, let's begin installing VirtualBox. It's going to be a very straightforward process. Just proceed with installation. Yes, and install. And we're going to finish the installation. Okay, VirtualBox is installed. So now we're going to import Parrot OS VM. So we're going to click on import and on file, we're going to import from the directory where we downloaded the Parrot OS VM. We're going to leave all the settings as default and we're going to click on finish. And we have to agree with the license agreement terms and we'll begin importing the VM. Okay, the import process is completed, so now we're going to start the VM. Now, this process shouldn't take long, but if you notice that it's taking more than a minute, so probably there is a bug with the machine, and I'm going to show you how to solve it. So, we want to stop the machine. I'm going to ACPI shutdown, and we're going to go to settings, and let's take a look at the speed play and we want to disable extended features enable 3d acceleration so we're going to remove that click ok and we're going to start again and that should solve the problem okay and now it's loading the parrot os okay and this is parrot os imported into virtualbox from this step, uh, you can start by updating the system uh, or just start playing. So now we're going to power off this one and we're going to install the Parrot OS. To install the new virtual machine, we can use the Parrot OS official documentation. So Parrot OS documentation. And if we select here installation, we have all the steps uh, that we have to take in order to deploy the new VM. So first thing first, we have to create the new virtual machine. So let's see, we can go back and we're going to create a new virtual machine. And we're going to name this as Parrot OS. And the ISO image, we're going to select the ISO file we just downloaded. As for memory, we're going to adjust according to our host. So in my case, I'm going to assign 16 gigs. So one CPU, that should be fine. And the hard disk, so I'm just going to leave to probably 40. 
yes around 70 i'm going to delete later so we're going to create a new virtual disk okay now we're going to start the machine and we're going to choose the option to try or install then click on enter this is going to load the operating system so first it's going to load as a, a live uh, environment and then we're going to install the operating system I'm just going to maximize this. Okay, here we're going to click on install Parrot. Okay, and then probably I have to adjust this a little bit. Let's see. Okay, uh, it should be better. Just once more. Yeah, that's no, okay. So, okay, we can continue. I'm going to select American English. And I am in Portugal. I'm just going to select. Portugal, where is it? It's from, it should be here. Yep. And then click on next. And the keyboard, I'm going to use English US and the font next. Now erase disk. Yes, I want to erase all disk and I'm not going to select swap. So I'm just going to leave it as it is. Click on next. Now, what is your name? So my name is going to be Celesio. What is the name of this computer and the password? So I'm just going to leave the default. Okay. And just to make things simple, I'm going to disable uh, for requesting the password. Okay. So I'll click on next. And this is an overview of what's going to be installed. I'm going to click on install. You don't want to make changes in order you will not be yes install now now this process might take some time so i'm going to pause and once it's complete we're going to continue okay the installation is completed so now we're going to restart okay before we continue we have to eject the iso file otherwise the machine is going to reboot and you're going to stop at this image again okay so we're going to power off this uh, machine Shut down. Okay, can't. I'm just going to force to close. Power off the machine. Okay. And now we're going to eject the ISO file. So I'll go to settings. And then storage. And we're going to remove the parrot. Okay. And then start again. Okay, so now we have to type the password that we defined during installation. Okay, and that's Parrot OS Neo VM. And you can see it looks like the same as the virtual machine we imported. And if we take a look at applications, uh, we should see here fantastic. So different tools already uh, on this machine and we can start playing, okay? Now, first thing first, after installing, uh, we have to update, but I'm going to leave this for another time. And now you have one more tool to help you in this ethical hacking journey. So if you took value from this video, don't forget to subscribe and I hope to see you in the next one.